So in today's video, this is my first impression, both opening and dry down, of a bunch of these new Parfums Vintage fragrances. I hope you're as excited as I am. Okay, James here, and James has got a box from a company called Parfums Vintage. I got like 12 of these travel atomizers of some of their newer fragrances. And the nice thing is, I haven't smelled any of them yet. And I guess I should mention that Parfums Vintage sent me these for free because they were tired of sending me full bottles. Boy, if you don't- No disrespect. No disrespect. So I'm just gonna start this video by saying, yeah, I'm a bit sweaty. I just worked out and showered, so uh, you can't make fun of me for that. And yes, I do have new glasses and they're clear and maybe effeminate, so beat you to it, guys. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You Comment below if you see something else that you can make fun of me for. So the way I'm gonna do this video is I am going to spray each of these cute little J Royal cards with Parfums Vintage fragrances, let them sit for an hour, and I'll smell them live on camera for you guys. After I've got the dry down out of the way, I'll then refresh each little card and give you my impression on the opening. A bit of a format that I borrowed from Ashton from GenSense. You are not prepared. Now I haven't done a lot of reading up on these fragrances. I do know they're pretty much all clones. I'm just gonna give you my gut visceral reaction to the smell going up my nostrils. If you like Parfums Vintage, smash like. If you hate Parfums Vintage, show me how much you hate them by hitting the dislike button twice. Okay, so I have all the fragrances laid out now. I'm gonna go ahead and spray each one, trying my best to not smell anything in the air, and then I'll come back and tell you how I feel. I won't tell you how I feel, I'll tell you how the fragrances smell. All right. One hour later. Actually, it's about 57 minutes, but I couldn't wait. Hit the like button if you appreciate that Parfums Vintage is no longer sending me bottles, but these cool testers. I'm not knocking them, I mean, they're pretty cool. And I guess there were 12 of them, so. First up we have is Isla Tropical. Okay, it is Uzi Tropical Coconut. It smells a bit like gorse, and I say that because it's kind of virgin island water, but not as much lime. That could just be the fact that it's the dry down. Pretty good, okay. I like. I, I kind of like. Right off the bat, it was definitely virgin island water. A nice balance of booziness, lime. Don't smell a ton of coconut per se, but it's pretty good. Isla Tropical Privé. I can smell a bit more lime in this one. It's a little more well-rounded. Isla Tropical, okay, whatever. But Privé, yeah, it's a like. I do like it. This is cool. It's obviously similar feel, but it doesn't smell quite as sharp, but it smells almost more aquatic in a way. It doesn't immediately make me think of Virgin Island water. It kind of smells like its own thing. I almost prefer the blend on this one. Next we have Alpine Winds. Ooh, okay, okay. Mephisto by Zerjoff slash Silver Mountain Water. I don't own Silver Mountain Water by Creed. I'm more of a Mephisto guy, but... This is great. But you know what else is great? Grand Tradition 2 Eau de Parfum. Armoff Derby Clubhouse Blanche. I feel like there's so many of these Silver Mountain Water wannabes. Silver Mountain Water is kind of a weird one because it doesn't smell like something completely natural. It's metallic. And so is this. Impressed. Alpine Winds Intense. Does it smell any different? Ooh. See, this is different. It definitely makes more of a statement. A little more aromatic in nature. It smells like it would be a really good performer. Based on that dry down, I would say Alpine Winds is a little closer to Silver Mountain Water if that's what you're looking for. But if you want something that's different, perhaps a little more beast, perhaps something that's a little more year rounder rather than kind of spring and early summertime, the intense version smells intense. <laughs> I saw, dude, smash like. A little smoother, not quite as recognizable, but it's nice. Really like this opening. Nothing's very jarring or abrasive about it. It's a bit more masculine. Really like the opening on Alpine Winds Intense. Summer Bottled. All right, cool. Mmm, citrus, nice. Summer. It's kind of a slightly 
masculine, almost musky citrus. There's something else going on in here, which I can't really distinguish at the moment. Maybe because my nose is all messed up from the previous fragrances. Even though it's not a straightforward lemony fragrance, I feel this would be a very easy to wear fragrance for a man. This one is summer bottled for dudes, not necessarily the ladies. Oh, nice. This opening is a little more spicy than I thought it would be. Is this interesting for you guys, just watching a dude sniff a piece of paper? I hope so, I really do. Interesting one, but I will reserve my judgment until I smell the intense version, because intense is always better, right? This one is sharper. Gotta clear my nasal canal really quick. Almost an Allurum Sport Cologne feel, where it's citrus, but it's a little bit spicy as well. I will say the summer bottled pear is a little more interchangeable. Intense just gives you a little more of that spiciness based on my first impression of it. I really wish I knew what it was supposed to be, but my first impression is they're a little more masculine leaning than some of the other fragrances. But if you're a lady that maybe lives out in LA and doesn't shave your armpits, <laughs> give it a shot. <laughs> Sorry if that's disrespectful to anyone. Let's go right into intense. Uh, ugh. Ugh, not a big fan of that opening, guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next up we have Neroli. Let me guess. Neroli Portofino, cool. AK 4711. But the fact that this still smells like Neroli after an hour means it beats out more in Vert's performance. Really, really great. I love Neroli. I love when Neroli is showcased on its own, basically. What will determine how good this fragrance is is how long it lasts. I personally don't own a really Portofino. I have Forte. Maybe I would have to try on my skin and sort of see the longevity, but smell-wise, fantastic. <sighs> okay, that's better. Yes, it smells a bit soapy, which could be seen as being synthetic, but Neroli kind of smells a bit like nice soap. Beautiful opening. Next up, we have Brilliant Bergamot. Maybe... Zerjoff Neo or Bergamot 22. And it's definitely not Neo. It smells like Lalabo Bergamot 22. Okay. Mmm. I just love Lalabo's style. And I love how Parfums Vintage bites that style. <laughs> B22 was always a fragrance I really wanted to pick up. It's one of my favorite citrus fragrances, but the price just is always a struggle for me to justify shelling that dosh. Brilliant Bergamot is pretty brilliant. Not bad at all. Really hope this one's good. Okay, I feel like it smells pretty accurate, but just a little bit much for me, for a citrus fragrance especially. But I think that's a personal taste thing, but it doesn't smell like it was cooked in a lab. It smells like some real, some real fruity oils were used here. I like it, I do. Next up we have Pour Um. Hmm, <sighs> woody, a little bit spicy. A bit clean as well, but not necessarily a summer fragrance. And because I know Parfums Vintage likes to make clones of expensive fragrances or discontinued fragrances, I can't tell if this is like an M7 clone or maybe Gucci Envy. I think this is Gucci Envy though. It's not very oody, but it's woody. It's hard to tell on paper to be clear, but it's nice. I mean, <laughs> I just smelled a ton of summer bangers, so. This one's cool, but it doesn't blow my brains out. Is that fair to say? I think so. Okay. So obviously different than every other fragrance here. The woods smell really good in this, though. Not something I would wear today, because it's like a billion degrees outside, but this is great. This is, dare I say, signature scent worthy. Love the opening. Love the opening here. Great. Three more to go, guys. Here is Siage of unicorns. I guess this is Rush of Unicorns part two. Let's try it out. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> I was expecting Millicium Imperial, but I got a bit of green Irish tweed. Could it be a combination of the two? Weird fragrance. Siage of unicorns. This is the only one that has a white label, and I don't know what that means. It does have that slightly salty ambergris type of feel as well. Interesting, but not what I expected. Okay, great. A fruity green Irish tweed. A little bit of a salt water feel to it as well. 
Not what I expected. <laughs> it smells good though, it does. And now the finale, Emperor and Emperor X Straight. These are the two fragrances that I've been really, really wanting to try because apparently they're the best clones of Aventus on the market. I have the dry downs sitting here with me. I also have a dry down of my batch of Aventus, which is 15X21. First up we have Emperor. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now, although I'm a big fan of Parfums Vintage's pineapple fragrances, the pineapple vintage line, the X-Batch line, but this smells closer to Aventus than it does pineapple vintage. Man, okay. Does it smell synthetic? Does it smell like the king? Pineapple, sweet pineapple. I love Parfums Vintage's pineapple, y'all. Emperor smells like a fruity, sweeter batch of Aventus, which I do appreciate because King was a bit too smoky for my liking. This one is a lot more up my alley. Love the opening here. Now, before I do the side-by-side -side with Aventus, let's go to the x -straight. Now, this is not only an x -straight by name, but also by concentration. Mm, okay. It still smells good, but I feel it is not as present. It didn't immediately give me that Aventus feel right off the bat. Still smells good, and again, <laughs> and it still smells different from the first one, kind of like Alpine Winds. It was a nice little change. So maybe I'll appreciate it more as a standalone. Maybe my nose is tired, y'all, but opening Emperor, definitely better for me. I think Emperor is a bit closer to Aventus, so, just to be sure, let's compare the two. I have Emperor in my left hand and I have Aventus 15X21 in my other. Emperor. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> and Aventus. I don't have coffee beans, so this will have to do. Okay, I'm getting high off of these fumes. So Aventus smells a little bit stronger on the card but I will say I used a Creed sprayer versus a little travel atomizer, so maybe it isn't the fairest competition, but the smell is very similar. Look at this technique, have you seen this before? How's that for a comparison? Honestly guys, the smell is remarkably similar. Wow. Believe the hype. Emperor is currently the closest clone to Aventus. What I like about Parfums Vintage is they advertise their batches. You have King, King Intense, Emperor, Emperor X Straight. So you know what you're getting. Aventus, not really. I mean, my 15X21 is gonna be very different than a 19 blah, blah, blah. Pretty impressed with all these fragrances and I really wanna try them out on my skin more. As you guys know, I have my scent of the week videos. So if there are any of these fragrances that you want me to try out for an entire week, let me know in the comment section below and I will do it for you. And if you wanna see a battle of two of the more popular Parfums Vintage releases, I have X-Batch versus X-Batch Intense right over here with my girlfriend, Leslie. This is just my opinion though, guys. Don't take it too seriously. Just don't forget to get your own.